Oh, thank you, Huck. Hey, it's the truth. I'd call, I'd call Mike when we were pastors, and I'd just break into Billy Graham on the phone and say, Huck, I want you to know that we love you and we have plans for you and literature. But we've misplaced the literature, you know, and I'd mess with his secretary and everything like that. But, you know, I mean, it's easy. You know, it's better to get forgiveness than permission. So we had a lot of fun. And I, I, I grew up with voice impersonation. Watching television, I can still see that television, Grandma and Grandpa's television with a doily on top, a doily. <laughs> Grandma crocheted a doily, man, a doily. Some of you young millennials, you know, doily, you don't know what a doily is. <laughs> we love you through Jesus. I love my millennials. I love my millennials. Don't we love our millennials? I've got two millennials, you know, and I love our millennials. But <laughs> may I just say something very quickly? When you write them a note, be sure to print. But anyhow, uh, <laughs> But I'd watch television. I'd pick up voices, you know. I'd watch Andy Griffith's show, man. I've always loved Barney. I watched it so much that in our little country church outside of Austin, Texas, I'd be in the back, and the preacher was saying, what should we do with sin? Next thing I knew, I just broke into Barney went, nip it in the bud. And, and then I got nipped in the bud. And uh, my daddy, Floyd Leon, when he finished with me, I did Forrest Gump before Forrest Gump was ever created. I basically said, I feel like I've been bit in the butt talks. But... Uh, I'd keep watching television. I'd watch Jimmy Stewart movies. I, I always enjoyed Jimmy Stewart. John Wayne. Uh, can you imagine if he'd been a preacher? All kinds of things in the Bible. Smoking is in the Bible. Bible says Rebecca saw Isaac and lit upon a camel. <laughs> Read your Bible, people. But anyhow, I went to Baylor University, and I was nervous about going to Baylor University because I was, I was raised a Methodist. There's probably some Methodists here. And I was nervous about Baptist. I'd watch Baptist in Austin, Texas all my life. I mean, they go to church Sunday morning, Sunday night, Monday night, Wednesday night, you know, prayer meeting. I mean, I don't know when they find time to sin, but they do. They're very creative. <laughs> Baptists are going to get sin in. And I went to Baylor, and I really thought everybody would be going, Hello, brother. How are you? I just made some Catholics happy right now. And I got there, and they, were, they, did, they weren't like that. They were normal. They, were, they didn't dance much back then. But the girls kissed are real good. And I felt led to join up. Uh, I'd rather smooch and dance any day. I don't know about y'all. Next thing I knew, I was in, they had me in the baptismal pool, the baptismal pool, put me underneath the water, wouldn't let me up till I said tithe. Uh, I remember how I left the pastorate. Uh, you know, Mike went into politics. I went into comedy. I was at First Baptist in West Monroe, Louisiana. Pretty big church. And we were on about three different television stations. And I was always wondering about doing this sort of full time. And I'd sneak off and go speak. Well, then I'd come back, fly back in. And I'd go home and I'd get ready to go to bed with my sugar baby and my boys, both in bed with my woman. I'd go, yeah, go, yeah, yeah. He went, Dad, we've been sleeping with Mama the whole time you've been gone. I said, well, yeah, go on. You got your bedroom, go sleep. Dad, I don't want to be in there by in my bedroom by myself. Go in there, God's in there. He'll sleep with you. Go sleep with God. And finally, I remember I was going to go on the road a few weeks later. I took him aside. Boys, I tell you what, if you'll sleep in your bed while I'm gone, if you'll sleep in your bed the night I get home, it, I'll give you a Hulk Hogan wrestling buddy. Do you hear me? A Hulk Hogan wrestling buddy. And we shook on there. Hulk Hogan. Sure enough, I flew back into Monroe, birthplace of Delta Airlines. I'm coming down our little ramp back then. I'm coming down. People in there looking at me. That's Swanberg. He's the preacher. We've seen him, you know. Some old deacon's going, they say he's gone all the time. But anyhow, you know, I'm coming down, and all of a sudden I see Laurie, Chad, and Dusty. Little Dusty, he's a little fella. He sees me. He goes, Daddy, nobody slept with Mama the whole time you were gone. <laughs> You know, but you know what? If you want to laugh, just go to church. I go to about 140 events a year. You go to church. If you, I was at church the other day at the senior adult thing, and there's these two old boys sitting over there at a table. I guarantee they're 91, 92 years old. They were up there. Well, I went over there, Huck, because I needed some new material. <laughs> Maybe a new DVD. 
So I went on over there, and sure enough, I stood behind him, and I, it was solid gold. One of them, he said, Lester, Lester, yeah, yeah, Lester, yeah. Was it you? Was it you? Or was it your brother that was killed in World War II? <laughs> Oh, Les went, oh, that was my brother. <laughs> and the other boy said, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> that's me and Huck in a few more years. Dennis, we need to laugh more, and you helped us do that tonight. So I want to begin by saying thank you for being here and just bringing to us some real good, clean, fun humor. Well, thank you. Thank you. I enjoyed doing it. You can have a lot of fun with it. You know, I mean, like you were talking about earlier, you got the Republicans, Democrats, Independents, everybody's uptight. You yeah. Know? So sometimes I'll just break into Ronald Reagan. Uh, well, yes. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, maybe. Uh, well, I remember... Years ago, uh, Jimmy Carter and I were having coffee with Abraham Lincoln. And, <laughs> well, then I'll break in my Bill Clinton. Hmm. And, you know, I was in Arkansas at Hot Springs, you yep. know, and did stuff with President Clinton. And, you know, I mean, it was, you know, free game. We have a little bit of fun. And so sometimes I'll just do my Bill Clinton and just say, hi, <laughs> pray for Hillary. <laughs> but do not email her at this time, okay? <laughs> Just, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got a brand new book, No More brand Secrets. Brand new book. You know, that's the more serious side. You know, my family, everybody's family has secrets. And we all have secrets. We all have our bumps in the road. And my family is very transparent to help people be liberated. Secrets make you sick. Silence is the enemy of healing. I want you to be liberated. I want people to laugh again. I want people to be refreshed. And we came out with our brand new DVD called Live Refreshed. You know, be refreshed and, and uh, enjoy life. And it's just too short not to enjoy. Did, did people think that you had left the ministry when you went into full time? Well, my mother, Pauline Bernadine, she's still alive, 89. She goes, it's not the same. You stay in that church. I said, Mama, I'll be speaking to more people than I've ever spoken to before. It's not the same, and you know it. <laughs> but now, she'll, she's watching, and she's going, that's my son. I can see her with her little Alfred Dunner outfit, <laughs> little blouse jacket, and the elastic goes, woo, woo. It really, Alfred Dunner, pray about it. <laughs> and a doily on a the doily TV. on the TV. No with, doubt with about the, it. With an antenna with aluminum foil around it. <laughs> Well, Swan, you got to come back and be with us again. I hope people will get the book. They need to realize that there is a serious side, not just oh, to yeah. your life, but to everybody's life. But it doesn't mean we can't have joy. And I want you to know that you can hear a lot more humorous stories and soul-building wisdom from Dennis Swanberg. Visit his website. It's pretty easy, DennisSwanberg.com. You can also find the book, No More Secrets, as well as a lot of other great resources He's a great guy, and we're happy to have you here. Thank you. Swan, look forward to having you back. Thank you.